Hi guys, just a very quick dumpster dive video. Look, it's another laser printer. Ta-da! It's a HP Color Laser Jet 3600DN. Not a very high-end model, but uh, I thought that I would uh, thought I would nab it. Looks like it's got Ethernet interface, so I'll take that back and uh, a couple of other things. Looks like some reception is uh, is gone because somebody's reception is uh, gone ski and uh, quite a few hutches and things like that. I don't need any of those, but I'll definitely take the printer, the chairs and there. There's always chairs down here. So let's haul it back up. Now the only thing I can immediately see wrong with this thing is can't get the paper tray out. So maybe that's the reason that it's been uh, ditched, but uh, the, it's got all the colour uh, uh, toners installed and it all looks in good condition. It looks very clean, like it hasn't had, hasn't had much uh, use at all. It does have the Ethernet uh, interface on it, so I'm not sure why this tray won't come out, but maybe it's missing like a third uh, paper tray level down the bottom perhaps or something like that. But yeah, I need to work on that, but I think I wouldn't be surprised if it powers up and maybe... There's just something wrong with the tray mechanism. All right, only one thing left to do. Let's switch it on and uh, see what we get. Whoa, yeah, that didn't sound good. But uh, the memories are certainly counting up. Oops, sorry if you can't see that. No, right, there we go, HP Invent. So it's powering up, it's initializing. But I didn't like the sound of that uh, clunking noise, so something's gone horribly wrong. That's probably why it's been tossed and the attention LED is flashing, of course. So, something mechanical in this thing. Genuine HP supplies installed. Awesome. Are they microchipped? They must be. Jam inside. Front door. There we go. Press stood for to see step-by-step -step information. All right. Open front door. Smooth, shiny. <laughs> okay. Surface of black transfer unit can be easily damaged, remove all paper, blah, found, closed front door, blah, blah, blah. All right. Hmm. I don't see anything hugely wrong with that. It looks in really good, really good nick. So they're obviously, I think they've got to be talking about the uh, paper tray at the bottom. Although, oh, it's in my imagination, I see a bar bent in there, but anyway, um, hmm, no, other than that, it looks really clean and in good nick. Well, I thought it might have a Jet Direct module inside as well that I could have reused in that other dumpster uh, high-end laser printer I got, but unfortunately, no, look, it's all integrated onto the one huge board, no chance of that. Ah, nothing I couldn't fix with a steel ruler. There we go. It was the paper lifter mechanism in here. I had to reach through at the back. Yeah, it was that thing. It was the paper lifter mechanism getting stuck and uh, couldn't uh, come back out for some reason. Anyway, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it's stuck down. Okay, it's down now. All right, got that out. Power it up again. Oh, yeah, uh, there's something else. Yeah, it's a, well, I don't know, that could be normal. <laughs> Beats me. Anyway, let's see what happens now. I'll put some paper in it and uh, whack the thing back in and see what happens. Okay, tray two empty. Calibrating? Okay, it's going into its calibration phase. It's just telling me tray two empty. So that's good. I'm going to whack some paper back in this sucker and uh, turn it on and... Uh, See if she goes. Well, it accepted the paper tray, no problems at all, and uh, and there's no errors now at all. I'm going for broke. I'm going to print that demo. Here we go. Printing demo page. Will it work? Let's have a look. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! That, that is a beautiful print, if I do say so myself. This printer is a winner. So it looks like somebody had some sort of paper, the tray jam, and they tossed it out. Beauty. 
Check this out. Print a uh, status page for the supplies and 86% uh, black left or 4,873 pages. Estimate of uh, when you're 5% coverage. The Cyan one, 44% left, 45% on the Magenta and yellow, 75% left. Fantastic. Estimated pages remaining a buttload. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what happened to the... Uh, calculation there but this has plenty of toner left in it so yeah no problems whatsoever no wait hang on if i do a paper path test here uh no hang on it gave me i did do it i did do it yeah here we go it did the big clunky noise attention and i think that's one of the uh sensors one of the paper path sensors so i'm not entirely sure what i'll have to uh uh, look up the uh, service guide or something like that on it, but hey, it does print. It makes that big clunking sound when I power it up, but gee, I'm <laughs> still not complaining much. So there you have it. Assuming that this puppy continues to work and doesn't uh, jam again, this is an absolute winner from the dumpster. I don't think it's a very expensive printer. It's not a high-end one like I scored last time, but geez, can't complain. Catch you next time.